All right, guys, so we are dumping our tanks for the first time since getting our new trailer. Most important thing, protect your hands, nitro gloves, latex gloves. Some people get the big old thick gloves that go all the way up your arm. Whatever you do, just protect your hands. What are you doing? Yuck. So, first thing you need to remember to do, advice we got, and it's very good advice, is pull the gray tank first, just for a second. Make sure you have no leaks. Because if you have a leak with gray tank, it's not that bad. If you have a leak with your black tank, you can get big fines depending on where you are. Plus it's just gross. Don't stand there. Yeah, I was just thinking that so, doesn't look too. You pull the black. Nice. So I pull the black. I hook up the black flusher and turn it on right away. It's cold. So this is our zero G old freshwater hose for your black tank flushing hose. Just use an old freshwater hose. So this is our old zero G freshwater hose. And then you crank this thing wide open, no pressure regulator. Crank it wide open, let it go. You can hear it hitting the tank. So is that just put water in the tank or does that actually have like sprayers or stuff? sprayers in there. And it should start knocking stuff out. It's actually really sanitary unless you do something wrong it's actually pretty sanitary you wear gloves and you touch the hose with gloves i don't have anything on the gloves but you just touch the hose to there you pull the black then you pull the gray and then we'll move to our front galley gray
pretty well clear. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're almost done with the tank. So basically that was two, fill it all the way up and flushes it. I think what I'm gonna do next time is I'm gonna hook the hose up and turn it on and then pull the black tank. I think I'm gonna try that next time. That way it's spraying already while it's dumping. Now it's just pretty much clear. I don't see anything chunky come out at all. Just water. Yeah, no chunks at all. All right. Because it's gonna freeze tonight and tomorrow night, we're gonna try to keep our tanks as dry as possible. So I'm not actually gonna put water in there. Just in case we have anything freeze. That way we can we still use do, the trailer. We will do the two liters of water with the stuff that Gabriel told us to put in. Just fresh water. No reason to be concerned. So, black's done running. Close it, pull the gray. And at this point, this is when I, see it's still flushing whatever was in the hose out. At this point, I roll this hose up. Because it's a zero G, you don't really have to roll it up. You just kind of get it together because it doesn't kink unless you actually tie it in a knot. Was the water on the cement already here when we got here? Yep. Okay. Good. Nothing yeah, leaking. Yeah, we're not, we're not, the, we're not leaking. The <laughs> person that was here just before us uh, leaked all over the place. This one's the gray stops flowing. Why would you do that? Because there was a little chunk that came out. Yeah, but you're not supposed to open the black. Are you? And then pull the gray back. Get it to finish out. Alright, it's just you trickling. It, you close it and then you wait. I like to wait like 10 seconds. Because these valves are in front of the pipe, so there's still some pipe here. So I close my wait about 10 seconds, then I do it, and I hold it here. Because as you can see, there's still some gray coming out. Let's go ahead and drain the hose. And come to your other tank. What I'm thinking about doing is I want to move to the Wastemaster from Drain Systems. That's what we're going to do. You guys get to see that install. Eventually. It's a really incredible system. It's way, way faster than this. Plus, it stores your black tank hose underneath the RV. It doesn't go in your pass-through anymore, which is a big deal. For people like us at full time, we need the space and it just keeps the black water stuff separate, Reduces which is a big deal. Factor. So we'll be doing that pretty soon. It's it's on our list of first modifications and upgrades we're gonna do. We got a handful of things above it though, so we it do. won't be right away. At least content wise, it won't be right away. But yeah, we're uh, we're draining the sink galley tank or the front gray, and then we're good to go. Oh, because I don't let anything big go down there. Food that you let go in there? 
not big particles. I mean, I'm sure there's stuff that gets around the little strainer that I have, but I don't know. We should have Gabriel clean the tanks out for us since I'm sure our predecessors left something in there. Yeah, I bet there is. Something. Are we almost done, dear? I'm freezing. How much time has it been? We are at 17 minutes just now. That's Not it. too bad. That's it. 17 minutes. So by the time you get everything put away, I'll probably be about 20. So 20 minutes to empty our tanks. Bring your hose. <laughs> Make sure you don't pop it out of the bottom when you do this. <laughs> Get right together. Well, that's it, we're done. Look at that out of your way. <laughs> and then you put it away. So this is a bin we had prior. We were using it as our shoe bin before. Okay, so the GoPro died. But what I was trying to say was this used to be our shoe bin when we had Blaze. And so we're just using it because we haven't had a chance to get anything different yet. Um, but yeah. So that's it. We're done. We're done. Uh, it's not a big deal. Don't be intimidated. Don't let it be the reason that you don't go RV. It's not challenging. It's really not that bad. It's not a challenge at all. But uh, we're buttoned up. We're going to hit the road. I think we're going to one night somewhere and then we're going to stay for two weeks somewhere. We'll see. See you on the road. On to the next adventure.